Hello guys, how's it going? Happy holidays and all that good stuff. Today we're working a bit on our uh, Christmas game. Yeah, this uh, little endless runner we've got going here. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, series. Uh, a lot more to come out because we want to kind of finish this game before the Chris before Christmas, really. I want to get it done before the 21st, I'm thinking. Because that way you guys have a few days to show it to your families and stuff up to Christmas. But, uh, yeah. So... What shall we do today? Well, I think today we're going to get the rooftop system going so that the rooftops spawn and we're able to run on them. So to do that, we have to do a few things. First, we have to, well, actually, we really have to do one thing, and that is to create an object that will spawn the rooftops for us. So we're going to jump right in and do that straight away. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a brand new object, and we're going to name this, I'm going to name mine OBJ Spawn. Uh, just because this is the object that will be spawning or generating our rooftops. You can name it whatever you like because it is your game. But I would, you know, just for organizational purposes, keep it somewhere around create, spawn, generate, maybe new rooftop. I don't know. Uh, you know, you can pick. Uh, so I'm going to add a create event here. And I'm going to go to control and drag in some code. And let's, let's break this down for a second here. So what we want to be doing is we want to A, create a brand new rooftop. B, we want to create that rooftop so it moves left. And C, we want to get the rooftop to move or to be created, sorry, at a different height each time. We don't want it to just be the same same height because, you know, that's a little less exciting. You know, not all houses are the same height. So we have to, those are the three main points we're going to do. So first off, we want to uh, create the roof, but we don't want to do that constantly. We, we, let's, we want to do it every once in a while. So to make it spawn every once in a while we're going to be using the alarm system in game maker so i'm going to say alarm zero is equal to 100 and what alarm zero does is it basically is a timer that counts down and when it's done counting down it will run whatever code that we have put within it uh, which we are going to do in a moment the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new variable called h and h is going to be equal to choose 360 380, 400, and 420. So let's take a look here. So first off, H stands for height. And that this is because this value, whatever one we get from here, will be used as our height when we create the new object. So H is equal to one of these four numbers. And what the choose function does is it basically looks at all the numbers that we've put in you know, between the brackets and just picks a random one. And I'll pick that random one and then store it inside this variable, which we have set to h. Now we have to use h for the height. So right below, I'm going to say instance underscore create room underscore width plus 32 h and obj underscore rooftop. I'm just going to take these spaces out a bit here. I don't know why I put them there. So what we're doing here is we're creating a brand new rooftop. We're creating it at the edge of the room, plus a little bit more. And we are creating it at whatever random number that we have chosen out of these four. Now, we don't want to do it just on the create event. We want to do it, you know, every once in a while, every hundred steps or whatever. So that's why we have the alarm set up. Now, the alarm code is actually exactly the same. So what we can do is we can take all this. We can hit Control C, hit the check mark, go down to add event. An alarm and alarm zero we can drag in some code and then we can do control V and there you go Wow that's <laughs> that's a Christmas miracle right there copy and pasting it that's brilliant and now what it's gonna do is it's gonna constantly spawn a brand new rooftop every hundred steps every hundred frames of the alarm yeah you'll see in a second so let's set our room up here to you know work for us so what I what I did on the last project is I moved this rooftop this way a bit and I took our Santa Claus and I moved him here and we want to stick our OBJ spawn into the room to make sure it works and let's hit the play button and let's see how this oh I have just completely forgotten about something so you can see that it spawned our you know little spawned our rooftop but we won't be able to see it because we have not set the rooftops to move left. Now to do that, we're gonna go into the OBJ rooftop and we're going to add a step event. And we're gonna drag in the control, or the code from the control. 
and we're going to say x minus equals 7. So all this is going to do is it's going to constantly subtract 7 from the x-axis and it's just going to simulate the rooftop moving downwards. Now, you know, for lag and for other purposes, we don't want it to just keep moving downwards forever and forever and forever. So what we're going to say is we're going to say if x is less than, not less than, yeah, less than, negative 500, instance underscore destroy. And all this is doing is it's going to check if we're completely completely out of view if x is less than negative 500 so that's way out of the way way over here then it's going to destroy itself well that way it's not moving on forever and forever and forever now i'm going to hit the okay and i'm going to hit the play button and let's uh let's test a little game out here now a slight error i just realized santa claus needs to be right here he needs to be in the center a bit more because we do not have Santa moving. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's all I'm going to say. And we've done. <laughs> oh, man, I'm really bad at this game. Okay, you may want to reposition your roof so it's easier for you to... I'm going to reposition my roof. Or my Santa, actually. Wow. You know, really, there's... <sighs> you got professional tutorials, and then you got really professional tutorials. So look at this. We now have roofs that are spawning, and we can jump from roof to roof. Um, I think I want to make this animation a bit faster. It's a bit slow. So let me just go to OBJ Santa and go to the create event. And I'm going to change it from 0.2 to 0.3. Uh, you don't actually need to zero there. That's a fun fact for you. And I'm going to hit... That seems really fast. Huh. I might have to play around with that off camera. You guys can do whatever you like. You you might not even you're probably not even using the sprite that I have here, uh, but that's perfectly fine, cause uh, it is your game. So we've got a rooftop system in place. It's only been dang it, it's only been seven minutes. So why don't we make it so that our Santa can uh, can die? I mean, you know, I don't really like to use die and Santa in the same word, but uh, we're just going to um. When Santa falls, we're going to make it so it restarts the game. So this is quite, quite simple. What we're going to say is in the step event, we're going to go all the way down here. And we're going to say if I completely lost my train of thought there. I was debating if we should do it one way, but I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to say if y is greater than room underscore height plus 32 then room underscore restart now you might be asking me well Parker why are you not just using the outside room function and that is because I think with the way we're going to have it display the score where we want there to be a bit of a pause after Santa falls and the outside room function would test as soon as he hits the room um, it's, it'll make a lot more sense next tutorial once we get into score and stuff so now we can jump, and if we're really bad at this game, oh, oh, room underscore restart. Perfect. So now we're here, and now we're jumping. Now the thing is, you can add as many in the uh, OBJ spawn, in the create event. You can add as many numbers as you like here. You can make them even more precise. I'm just going to use these four for simplicity, but you can make this 360, 365, 373. 80, 385, 390, 400, 410. Like you can make it, you can have a ton more numbers. You could make these go all the way up to 500 if you wanted to. I just found that when I did that, it was a lot more difficult for me to, um, uh, how can I say this? If you, if, if one roof was 360 and then you, you spawn a new roof with 520, the jump was impossible. So I didn't want to, I wanted to avoid having impossible jumps. So I picked these four numbers because even if you are on uh, 360, you can still jump to 420. So there you go. That's uh, that's the reasoning if you were a bit confused. But yes, you can edit that whatever you like. And you can also edit the timer if you want them uh, spawning quicker or slower. You can change this alarm zero to uh, you know bigger or smaller. Uh, the smaller the number, the quicker it will 
spawn. And what else do I want to say here? OJ Rooftop, if they're going too fast or too slow, change this 7 to any other number. Larger the number, the faster it goes. And I think that's all for this tutorial. We, we're at 10 minutes here, and I think I'm going to save the rest for next day's tutorial. Wow, we got a lot to do. So I'm thinking we work on, we're going to do some chimneys, and we're going to do some present throwing, and we're going to do some score and some high scores and all that stuff. And if we still have time, we may do some power-ups and all that. Like maybe some candy canes or something that he can collect that will give him a speed boost or jump boost. I don't know. We'll have to uh, play around a bit and see. So, guys, I'm going to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this tomorrow. I Wow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I will talk to you all later.